Royal Navy recently reached a major milestone with the first successful guided firing of the Sea Venom missile from a Wildcat HMA Mark II helicopter. The Wildcat already packs quite a punch, with Stingray torpedoes for underwater threats and lightweight Martlet missiles for targeting small boats and fast-moving crafts. However, until now, it lacked the capability to engage larger warships like corvettes. That's where the new Sea Venom comes in, delivering 10 times the power of the Martlet and specifically designed to take on more heavily armored ships. Developed by MBDA, the Sea Venom is a lightweight, precision anti-ship missile equipped with a 30-kilogram semi-armor-piercing fragmentation warhead. It can strike targets from a safe distance of up to 20 kilometers and features an advanced infrared seeker for accurate targeting at high subsonic speeds. The missile is part of the future anti-surface guided weapon program, which aims to give Royal Navy helicopters the ability to take on larger enemy vessels with greater safety and effectiveness. The first live fire test took place on October 9, 2024, at the MOD Aberporth Range in Wales. During the test, the Wildcat successfully launched a Sea Venom missile, hitting a specially designed target barge fitted with heating elements to simulate realistic thermal signatures. This demonstration proved the missile's capability to engage both moving and stationary maritime threats under real-world conditions. Lieutenant Commander Robin Kenchington emphasized the importance of this successful test, calling it a significant leap forward in enhancing the Royal Navy's frontline effectiveness while keeping crews safe from enemy defenses. By adding the Sea Venom, the Wildcat gains more flexibility and power in maritime missions, further strengthening fleet protection. This achievement was made possible through a collaboration between Leonardo UK, MBDA, Chinetti Q, and the Ministry of Defense. Looking forward, the Sea Venom's advanced capabilities will be key to the Royal Navy's upcoming Carrier Strike Group deployments, boosting the Wildcat's strike power and mission versatility. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.